Hello, and welcome to our fifth episode in our Pharmacy Calculations Practice Series, where we're going to be solving a question that was posted to our Facebook group, our PTCB exam study group. Okay, now I'm going to start by stating that this is not the greatest question in the world. In fact, it's missing some critical information, which we're going to make some assumptions so we can show you a solution. But I think it lends to, you know, have me add that when you're looking on the internet at different resources that help you prepare for the exam, you have to be careful about the source. Uh, a lot of these, you know, free practice exam question sites or free material sites, well, well-intended you know, the wording of these questions can be limited. Some of the material can be outdated or things that you wouldn't even be expected to know for the PTCE. But that being said, you know, I think there is some good instruction to be provided here. So this question is stating that amoxicillin comes at a concentration of 25 milligrams per five milliliters. How much drug would need to be added to this concentration to make it a 2% weight per volume solution? Now, the problem with this question is it's not telling you what volume of solution you're going to be dealing with. So we'll make the assumption that what they're saying is, how much do you need to add to that 25 milligrams in a 5 ml solution to get to a concentration of 2%? Okay, so if we make that assumption, first you need to know what 2% means. Anytime you're dealing with the concentration of a solution that's weight per volume, the percentage means how many grams per 100 milliliters. So in the example of a 2% solution, that's two grams per 100 milliliters. So we need to ask ourselves, well, how do you get to a 2% solution when you only have five milliliters? And I'm a huge proponent, proponent of using cross multiplication by setting up proportions. And to do this, I always put the unknown variable in the numerator position on the right side of an equation. So in this example, we need to know how many grams in five mLs is equivalent to two grams per 100 mL. And when you're setting these proportions up, you always need to make sure on the left-hand side, you're putting what you know, but the units have to match. So we're gonna keep grams in the numerator milliliters in the denominator like we've done on the right hand side. And then to solve that, we simply take two grams divided by the 100 mLs and you cross multiply to the five mLs. And when you do it like this, the units cancel out. And I'll just pull up my calculator here, although I probably could do this by memory. So two divided by 100 multiplied by five is 0 0.1 grams. So in a 2% solution, if you only had five milliliters, you'd have 0 0.1 grams. But this question is asking you how much drug would need to be added, and the concentration is given in milligrams. So we can convert 0 0.1 grams to milligrams. I could write this out and do another proportion longhand, but remember there's a thousand milligrams in every gram, so 0 0.1 gram is also going to be 100 milligrams. And we already have 25 milligrams in the 5 milliliters, so we can subtract the 25 milligrams to give us our answer to this question, making our assumptions that you would need to add 75 milligrams of drug to make it a 2% weight per volume solution if you're only dealing with 5 milliliters. So that's one way to solve this. I'm not sure exactly if that's what the question was asking us. Um, so if you're looking at this and you saw this question online and it doesn't match up with one of your multiple choice answers, I just can't imagine what they were trying to ask. So apologies for that, but I think this illustrates how you solve a question like this. If you have any questions about this or want to see another example solved, feel free to reach us on our Facebook page listed here. You can shoot us an email at info at pharmacytechscholar.com or you can visit, visit us on the web at pharmacytechscholar.com.